Bhagwan's own teachings to Uddhava. Uddhava asked the Lord, What are the differences between a liberated person and a samsarin? The Lord replied, A liberated person is not subject to the influence of the three gunas, otherwise called maya. An ignorant man is under the influence of the three gunas. Though the dream is only a projection of the mind, the soul suffers pain and pleasures which are not real. The soul and God are like two birds dwelling on the same tree, associated by the influence of maya. One eats the fruits of the tree and suffers joy and sorrow, while the other sits like a witness without any suffering. It does not eat. It knows itself and also the other that is eating and suffering. The one who eats is in eternal ignorance. The other is a jiva mukta. Though with the body, it does not get affected by the boy, body. The body is controlled by prarabdha. Though it is moving with the body, the actions of the body do not bind it. It is unattached like the sky. It revels in the self. It can afford to behave like a fool and roam about like a stupid. One who is not able to fix his mind steadily on Brahman must perform actions with disinterested spirit for the sake of the Lord. He should hear the stories of the Lord, sing his praises and must remember him always and seek the association of saints. With devotion and worship, he reaches my state. Uddhava, what is the characteristics of a devotee, a pious man? Bhagwan, a pious man is compassionate towards all souls. He does not harm anybody. He is very patient and forgiving in nature. He is always truthful and pure in mind. He is unaffected by joys and sorrows. His judgment is not clouded by sense pleasures. He is self-disciplined, soft, morally pure and effortless. He lives on scanty meal. He has no passions. He depends on me for everything. He has conquered heat and cold, greed and egoism, hunger and thirst. He does not seek honor, yet he honors others. He is always instructive and imparts knowledge. He always worships me. Devotion consists in beholding the Lord in all his representatives, devotees, touching and worshipping the feet of the devotees, serving the Lord's devotees, extolling them, saluting them, narrating my stories, celebrating my festivals and visiting holy places. I can be worshipped in the form of moon, fire, sky, air, water, earth, Brahmins, Bhaktas, Kau and all living beings. I shall now teach you a great secret which you must carefully preserve. You are my great devotee. The great secret. Satsang is the most glorious method that pleases me. It puts an end to attachments. By Satsang alone, Vibhishana, Bali, Sugriva, Hanuman, Tuladhar, Dharma Vyada and gopis of Raja have reached me. They did not study scriptures. They had no vows, no austerities. Akrura was liberated by my association. Gopis by Rasalila. Therefore, renounce all duties and take refuge in me. Uddhava, in taking refuge in you, should I renounce all my other duties? Bhagwan. All the activities in the universe are my manifestations. I manifest through them with the aid of my Maya Shakti. Know this truth and cut away all your doubts arising in the form of ignorance. Sattva, Rajas, Tamas are modifications of Buddhi, Prakriti and not the Self. If you develop Sattva, the other Rajas and Tamas would get eliminated. From Sattva, righteousness prevails. Wisdom dawns and self-realization shines. Uddhava, why does man pursue sense enjoyments, the source of all calamities? Bhagwan, out of the influence of Rajas, man thinks I am the body, which is a perverse judgment. 
leading into action and reaps all sorrows therefore one should withdraw the mind from everything and establish it in me this yoga was once taught by brahman as one to the sages shanaka and others which i will tell you